Okay, so I'm in Valmark and I'm looking for the Church of the Dark Star. Which apparently is nestled into the hills. The reason I'm looking for it is there's a community event there. Right now, well, actually, it started. Started uh, 25 minutes ago, so it could well be all over at this point. It's really laggy. Like it's dealing with a whole lot of people being connected at once. Alright, so back to the start. So, yeah, all I've got to go on is nestled into the hills. Things are all popular. Uh, so this is a promising looking path, is it? Oh, is this it? I think it might be. There's lots of people dancing. Stars of it. Oh. Screenshot saved. Is there a thing that's hide to the controls? F9. Let's try that again then. F9. F9. There we go. Oh, I'm targeting that dude. There we go. That one's a keeper. So, 
I'm not sure how these things work. How am I at this point supposed to be listening to something? I don't know. Just come online. <laughs> All sorts of people dancing. <laughs> so, I think there's some audio that I should have, um, I should somehow be listening to. I'm not sure how it works though. Say No, I can't. How can I move and chat at the same time? I've never figured it out. Okay, well, I'm here and I've seen it. something everybody's listening to and I've no idea how you listen to it so what I shall do that's the Mad Hermit look he's a bit of a legend <laughs> mm. 
So, task for next time. Figure out how to get the audio of these things. Let's go on a just review the outside. So this is what the church looks like. Let's screenshot that as well. See what this is. Yeah, so I was here already. I should have just gone in. Sometimes I am a pudding, it's true. So yes, I don't know how these things work. At least I found it. <laughs> Lots of naked, right. I'm gonna log off now then. The chat was quite entertaining. I think I'm missing something important. Some googling required. Okay, I'm back. I've done some research, and I believe now here is the audio. Bert and his pants. Hey, hey what are you doing? Uh, asked Red Badger. Don't you want to be my boyfriend? Red Badger. Amber grunted and raised her dagger. Red Badger became very scared and said, uh, uh, I promise to behave myself from now on. Uh, please get that dagger away from my private parts. <laughs> Amber spoke in a voice that did not sound like her own. Now it's time to show you some real boss. <laughs> Amber Flame is in charge now. The Badger screamed as Amber brought the bag down. Two hours later, the dazed and naked Red Badger was curled up in fetal position, mumbling, No more, no more. Amber's eye color suddenly switched back from blue to green. Shut up, said Amber, as she punched him in the jaw. Ow, <laughs> that really hurt, exclaimed Red Badger, as he snapped back to his senses and rubbed his bruised jaw. Oh, chat when it I always honor my commitment. My word is my bond, said Amber, as she glared at Red Badger. I'll not be bought off with trinkets. Speak of this anymore and I will show you the meaning of real pain. Red Badger knew Amber was being serious so he decided to keep his mouth shut. Now, put these clothes on. We must not keep the mare waiting. Barked Amber <laughs> as she threw him some peasant clothes. Later, as they approached the giant stone archway which marked the entry point to Ardorus, the normally stoic guard Bob suddenly smiled and waved to Amber. Good to see you again, Amber, said guard Bob. You've been busy, I see. Yes. Yeah. So I understand it from uh, following the chat. This has been recorded uh, in pieces and then edited together. And then everyone has just chosen to come here and listen to it. It's quite a raunchy story. Uh, I'll put the link to the actual the transcript uh, in my video, in my video um, comments. After I drop off this bell and collect my bounty, 
I have to get back to Brittany right away. Okay. Next time, then. Sick out, Bob, trying to hide his disappointment. Amber escorted the prisoner to the front gate of the mayor's luxurious mansion, which, like much of our Doris, had an Asian theme to it. A magnificent white marble water fountain, in the form of a globe held in the palm of an enormous hand, stood in the front yard. She informed one of the two guards at the front gate who she was and the nature of her business. The guard rushed inside to inform the mayor, and Amber and her prisoner were soon ushered into the mayor's back office. The mayor was seated behind his desk with his back to them, gazing out the window at his well-manicured Zen garden. Two armed guards took up positions on either side of the door behind Amber and Red Badger. Well done, Amber. You've succeeded where my guards have failed, said Mayor Style Tickle as he turned around in his chair to face them. So, you're the notorious Red Badger who has been attacking my trade caravans? You're a lot smaller than I expected. Red Badger started to speak. A mere tackle. But the mayor cut him off with a gesture of his hand. Turning to Amber, Mayor Tackle said, As soon as I received your message, I sent men to the secret cave hideout, which you described. They were able to apprehend a dozen of the Red Badger's men and recover about half of the stolen loot. Tell me where I can find the rest of your men and the loot, and I promise you a swift and merciful death, said the mayor. Refuse, and I'll have my men torture you until you provide us with the information, <laughs> and then you will be drawn and quartered at high noon in the city square. Wait, 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 that, that's not necessary. I, I have even more valuable information to offer in exchange for my life. What sort of information? asked a curious Mayor Tickle. It wasn't by chance that I targeted your trade caravans, Mayor Tickle. I was acting under orders from my boss. And who might that be? Dugarin, replied Red Badger. What? That's utter nonsense, said Mayor Tickle. Duke Garen has no quarrel with me and is a highly respected member of the Great Council. He would not be consorting with criminals such as you. I, I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Duke Garen is angry for losing the bid on the Nimada Casino construction project to you. The potential revenue <laughs> from the first casino to be constructed in Uber oh, will be enormous. All right. Indeed. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, this is this is going to require editing together of me uh, wandering around lost and me standing confused and, and various other exciting things like that to get a, a complete video. Um, and like I said, I'll post a link to the, the complete uh, radio broadcast of the actual thing everyone's listening to. So you don't have to put up with just part of the uh, slightly raunchy story. Uh, I'll be back with more Shelly Avatar videos for release 14 at the end of the month.